You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Hey, 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 what is going on, guys? And welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Radio Live, right here on iHeart Radio, and I'm your host, Dini. We have another special guest for you guys, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, uh, go ahead and text your, all your buddies, all of your family members, and tell them to tune in as well, because we're about to dive deep into another interview. But before we bring our guest on, I just want to say, do you have trouble taking the actions you know you need to be taken? Do you tend to put things off and continue putting them off? There is a way out. Let me tell you, Dini has the answer, and it begins in your mind. When you're having trouble getting yourself to take action, focus your concentration on a time when you did take action, a time when you were able to move forward and get things done. At some time in your life, you've had such an experience, so think back to it, experience it again in your mind. Recall the things you did, the feelings you had, and the kind of things you were thinking during that time. So how did you get moving before? What steps did you take? What thoughts did you think? What kind of hole were you in? How did it feel? you've likely felt positive successful and effective and you can do so again recall that time vividly enough and you'll move yourself from a mental state of procrastination to a state in which you can get up immediately and start making things happen you've been effective before and you can do it again like right now so get in touch with the best you (laughs) i'll say that again get in touch with the best you that you can be and put it to work for you today. Take that from me, Coach Dini. That is my word, and word is bond. Yo, hello, and welcome to another incredible episode of Behind the Mind series, where we dive into the universe of the people who create these marvelous aspirations. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are indigos, crystalline, or the star seas, and for my vigilantes audience family. And of course, my hooligans, and shout out to my people who are vegetarian, pescatarian, or vegans. We are averaging over 41,000 live listeners, and we've been at this for seven solid years. I appreciate all of you guys who have been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we are still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, education, news, art, films, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you and an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology revolutionaries, educators, visual artists, from authors to professors and vampires. Or people think they're vampires. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and chat with Dini. So check it out to book an interview or to appear on my other show, Skeptics. Email me at vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. That's V as in Victor. Or you can email me at chat with Dini at onlyonemediagroup.com. We hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That's Vigilante's radio purpose. You know the number to dial 701-801-9813. Share that number with your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in the mix directly from my website 
onlyonemediagroup.com right from the home page you can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the midst and in the chat room with all of us so feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and as always all episodes are available for free download you can grab it from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group iheart to radio spotify itunes cast box player fm youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website i've conducted over 1000 interviews and counting all right all right welcome back guys you're listening to vrl that's vigilantes radio live right here on iheart to radio and i'm your host dini our interviews are designed to go beyond the music the news the books the arts uh the acting the films the technology the education the entrepreneurship the businesses and also the entertainment and sometimes guys even a thing called the ego our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these incredible human beings you know ones are out here giving it their all for me for you and for the world and with that let's welcome our next guest to the show she goes by the name of renee bonnet almost rhymes hey hey welcome to the show renee it does rhyme renee bonnet how are you thank you so much for having me all right all right how are you today i'm good how are you doing great thanks for asking all right well i want to welcome you to our podcast first and foremost and uh for our listeners who may not have heard of you or your music how would you describe the sounds and the vibes of your music um well my my latest album i just dropped was um 115d um which did chart on um, itunes um we're really grateful for that thank you um Eleven um, Five D is exa- is self-explanatory. Um, my sound is about um, uplifting the words, um, you know, love. You know, I think, you know, with Summer Walker just dropping her album, with Danny Lay having her issues with relationships, you know, we're gonna get a fire, toxic album from her soon. But Eleven Five D is completely opposite. It's for people that are happy already. <laughs> Yeah. You know, my music for people that are actually in love and they're in their fifth dimension. Um, they've met their twin flame and they're living in their um their higher self. Yeah, I dig that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you know, as you mentioned, there's a lot of toxicity going on right now <laughs> from yeah. uh, people people that we look to on social media, Will and Jada yeah. Danny Lee and the baby and, and countless others. Like you said, Summer Walker yeah. and uh what's that producer's name? Uh, uh London on the track. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. And and there's more too. And I'm so glad that so you many. put out yeah, I'm so glad that you put out something a little more positive, telling people what, about what real love is supposed to be like. So on this album, are you speaking or singing and writing from experience or is more of a collective of stories uh, you know creative imagination and whatnot it's definitely experience um my first project prior to me becoming you know a little bit more known um it was called energy and it was more about um a lot of the hurt that i went through i I had my toxic time as well and Mm -hmm. i wrote about it um but now i'm in a space to where um, my vibrations are now attracting my tribe and I'm um, around something um, that I've manifested you know I guess you know my Sierra's prayer <laughs> so I'm able to write about real men and real love situations because they do exist I don't know I mean um, there's there's women out here that are, you know, considerably getting hurt and still going through toxic relationships, as you can see. But um, these these women are still um, enlisting, you know, still learning, um, still choosing um, their own reflection, which is showing them what they need to work on in themselves. Um, and I think Love in 5D is just a representation of just true love and uh, accepting it 
and loving yourself and knowing what you're looking for and being okay with it. It's being comfortable. You know, like that, that you know, that nose wide open feeling that we're afraid of. Um, that I miss you. You know, that conversation that is, you know, seems corny. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you really want to tell somebody how you feel. That's what Love Me Five did. So, which song on this album means the most to you, personally? Um, oh my gosh. So, there's 20 songs. And it's, and they're, and they're over a course of like a year and a half of me like putting them together. And I'm just like, just, just put them all on there. <laughs> you know, um, uh, and we created over like 50, actually. Um, so it was really hard choosing them. Mm. But Dream, um, no. Yeah, Dream, Dream. Dream is one of my favorite songs, and it's like a fan favorite, I guess, um, because it's kind of like a female who is in a relationship with a man who cannot realize, you know, get to grasp the fact that she's with someone who cares for her. You know, she's constantly... Um, accusing them of things, you know, like, this is the outlook of that song, you know, and she just can't believe that she's actually with somebody that is bound for her. So it's just like a dream to her, like, I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. So who produced uh, Dream? Oh, yeah, so I have a long-time collaborator, Rick, who did that. Um, He produces majority of my... um, Records. He's an amazing producer. Nice. And what's his name again? We who did that. Ah, w e who did that. That. Yeah, so he well, did he, that. Yeah, he definitely did that on Dream. Shout out to Yeah, Dream, Dream, was, Dream was fire. Yeah, Absolutely. Definitely. So how much of uh, love? And, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. yep. Oh. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have a question for you, you know, regarding that, but I'll get to it in, in just a second here. So, Love and 5D, did he produce anything else for this album? Oh, the, he, produced, he produced the whole project. Oh, so, it's oh. pretty much, it's, it's like Renee Bonet and we could do that. Nice. It's like the project. You know, I was, I'm fortunate um, enough to um, have the ability to create at, like, I guess, at my leisure. Um, um, and I entered into a partnership with an amazing, talented um, musician and producer. So, you know, we just create, 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 create. Yeah. yeah. So also on those same lines, you mentioned that you recorded maybe 50 plus tracks for this album. Like what was the criteria yeah. for picking the songs, the 20 songs that you did pick? Um, I just wanted to feel, I just wanted to feel the music. I wanted to take me somewhere, you know. It's just like there's, you know, I'm Gemini, so ah, there's some too. days I was <laughs> okay. What, what, like what May June? May. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm in May. I'm May too. I'm May too. So this is awesome. So you're on my team. Yep. Yep. Automatically, Gemini support. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. Nobody else does. <laughs> They're all they're against us. I don't know what it is, but they're totally against us. But one of my um, sides, <laughs> it depends on you know the, how I wake up. And, you know, and um, I have a studio in my home, so um, nice. I would just um, either start off with uh, acoustic, or I'll start off with piano, or start off with drums. But uh, we just we just start creating. I usually most of the records are created from scratch. Mm. All right, all right. So, dream, and this is what I hope for every time I press play on an R and B record is real okay. R and B. You know, yes. And 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 dream definitely took the cake. Uh, nowadays, when I listen to R and B, is singers who rap and rappers who sing, and I'm I'm confused. So, um, right. I can really ap- appreciate dream in this whole album that you put. Oh, excuse me, choking. Your this whole album that you put out. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, why do you think that real R and B, classical R and B music, is fading out? At least I think it is. Maybe 
I mean, you do this for for a living. You have the time. <laughs> it's, definitely it's, definitely, it's definitely faded. It's definitely it's, faded. It's like, it's, it's, it's not fading now. It's like turning into like popish. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's kind of like adding like a, a, a spice or a seasoning or a, a ingredient to a recipe that doesn't need to be added to. And then it becomes something else, and then it gets passed down and becomes something else, and then it's not even that anymore. It becomes like pop, or it becomes something else. Um, and then you try to bring it back, and people say, "Well, that's the old, that's the old way of doing it." And um, I think that's just what it is. I just feel like um, people want to party, you know, people. Um, you know, it's a, you know, you have to create a major PR campaign, PR stunt, just to get your people to listen to your album. Um, you know, it's just it. It's like people don't want to think anymore. They don't want to sit down. I, we, I tell, I tell people, my music is not fast food, fast food music. You can't listen to it just on the go. You got to sit down. It's gourmet. Sit down and have a nice meal. You have some wine and you listen to the you listen to the album or a blunt or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. All right. It keeps the home, you know, vibration high. You know, back in the day, the music was good. So, you know, good music. You know, nowadays you'll like. Everybody's, you know, too proud to admit that they need somebody. Mm, mm, I'm just not. I don't think that's true. I think that we all. I think every woman needs a husband, and every or or every part. Every person needs a partner. We're not gonna put gender on it, but every person needs a partner to live with in life. Normally, stop acting like you're okay without it. You know. So that's what loving five is about. Just being open and being vulnerable about that. Absolutely. So somewhere yeah. along the lines, you heard something, maybe saw someone perform live, maybe saw a music video, but something changed uh, in music to where you wanted to do it for the rest of your life. Um, do you remember that moment? Um, I think it was like, oh my God. I don't know. I think it was maybe if it was a TLC, it was Brandy like sitting up in my room it was like those amazing melodies like you know like you remember that music and yeah. <laughs> and like boys to men and um, Alicia Keys like her first project was it's so memorable it's so it had a big impact on the culture you know Aaliyah had a big impact on the culture. You know, like, things like that, Mariah Carey, you know, even all the way back to, you know, the older music. Like, things that had impact on the culture, like, music that just doesn't die. You know, there's a lot of projects out here that you'll never listen to twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. But there's things out there, you know? There's the mm -hmm. biggest thing out there, and it's not timeless, and it won't go to your kids' kids. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So when that uh, fire was birthed inside of you from watching, you know, Mariah Carey and TLC, did you jump to writing and in studio right away, or how did that progress? Um. No. I actually um, used to back then. We didn't like have cell phones like back then. Like it was yeah. that long ago. But like we didn't really have like I didn't really have like a cell phone, so I record my cell phone. So I would just like record myself in my mom's like voicemail you know how you, like, you call yourself oh yeah I remember those yeah <laughs> and, and then I had like a little boom box so where you can like crush record and play at the same time and you can like record mm -hmm. yourself yep. so I would do it like that like when I was like I'm talking about like six seven eight years old you know what I mean I was like um, writing poetry and like creating little melodies and trying to be TLC, I was like t -boss. And sometimes I was left eye because we have the same birthday. And um, so that was really cool for me. And um, I would rap as well. So. 
right. Yeah, I remember those days. Um, I'm an 80s kid. So I, I remember taking those tapes, gospel tapes my mom had, and I would put tissues in the corner and then like record some rap over it. Used to make her so mad. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all we had. No cell phones. I mean, we did have cell phones. It's a huge cell phone. But yeah. Yep. All right, all right. So, all right. Um, do you remember your first song that you ever written and recorded? Yes. It was called I Sacrifice. And um, I remember I went, I lived in um, D.C. or well, well, Virginia. And, um, but to get to the, um, to land on Maryland where the radio station is, it's uh, 94.5. No, no, 95.5, 93.9, and um, W, K, Y, F, whatever. It's, um, uh, you know, a big Atlanta radio, I mean, um, I'm Atlanta, a DC radio station. I've been here too long. Um, mm-hmm. And I um, caught the train. They were having some competition. I wrote this song for like a Devin the D beat. <laughs> I didn't even know it was his beat. I just, it was just, um, you know, like anything is. It's on anything is anyway. Do you know what that's going to do? I think so. I think so. Anyway, so I wrote, I wrote the song, text me, went up to the radio station, caught the train, and um, like let them hear the song. They played the record like 40 times back to back and like introduced me to the construction team with Jay Records. And I ended up getting like a small production deal and like my like everything like I became like obsessed with you know <laughs> moving forward in my career like everything you know started from there I started doing shows and just meeting people and just trying to develop who I was as an artist uh, that's pretty much what it's fun alright is that song available online anywhere no <laughs> <laughs> what it used to be. I just don't know where it is now. I really uh, do not know where the song is. I don't. I'm like, I had, um, I went by, uh, I used to go by Ricky and A back in the day. And like all the songs are, um, were played on like the radio and stuff like that back in DC. So I don't, I don't know where it's at. I got you. All right. I don't. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we're about to play Dream, and then we'll be back to put you in our traditional hot seat. That's where you get to perform for us, whether that's singing, rapping, uh, poetry, telling a joke, telling a story, or just inspiring people with your words. But for right now, guys, here it is, Dream. Stay tuned.
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dream. All right, guys, send us emails, send us uh, uh, text messages or chats, whatever you uh, chat with us, however method you do. Let us know your thoughts on that. Make sure you uh, subscribe and add it to your playlist and share it with your family members because sharing is caring. Let's go ahead and bring her back. All right, welcome back to the show. You're back live with us and in our hot seat. What are you going to perform for us? Well, I did have a a message that I felt on my heart to share to my viewers. All right. Um, Your viewers, our viewers tonight. Um, Like, um, I know that um, mental health is a real thing. And I think that it's important that we're more aware of it. Um, And I just want anybody listening, if they're suffering from depression, anxiety, or having suicidal thoughts, or maybe feeling down about themselves or not worth it. Um, I just want to let you know that, you know, you're loved and you're not alone. You know, everybody feels this way sometimes. And that's it. That's all I want to tell. All right. That's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Before we let you go, let our listeners know where they can connect with you online. Oh. You can go to www.renebonet.com or you can check me out on Instagram. Like, just hit me on the social. Like, come check, you know, come hang with me. I'm fun. I'm, I'm giggly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we love the 5D over here. So if you come and show love, I'm going to show you love right back. So come follow me, R-E-N-E-B-O-N-E-T, like Lisa Bonet, you know, from the comedy. It's Renee Bonet, guys. All right, all right. Well, I want to thank you so much. Oh, one more thing before I let you go. The okay. year is almost over with. How are you going out this year? Um, okay, okay. So I just got a, a a personal trainer, and I'm 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 just trying to get like the two the two pack at the top right now. Did you with me? Yeah. Did you want yeah. it with me, Jim and I? All right, yeah, for sure. Just the two pack at the top. Yeah, yeah. That's how I'm going out. The two okay. pack. You going out like that? Stepping up, yeah. About to win the challenge. Yeah. Yep. All right. So next time I see you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> That's how we going out, Tony. We're getting that two pack right here at the top. I didn't say six pack. Just said two right there at the top. That's all we all need right. for the photos. We get the highway. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to it. I check uh, Thursday. I mean, not Thursday. Uh, January. January. Let's look. Look on your Instagram and say, okay, where's the, where's the two pack? Oh, it's coming. Okay, right. hello. I'm All right. Make sure I suck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was a pleasure having you here, and I really you appreciate it. Well. Yeah. Keep the Gemini energy alive. We all we got, man. Thanks. We all we got. All right. Later. All right, take care. Thank you. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website, which again is only one media group.com. And that goes for every single show that we've ever aired. If you like to request some music or send something for me to play, email it to V Radio at only one media group.com. That is V as in Victor. And here's my disclaimer we are genre free, we do not judge, and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone. And actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it (laughs) just kidding on behalf of myself denny i appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with me on facebook twitter instagram tumblr snapchat tiktok at all social media sites as well as spreaker youtube we always follow back okay well just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself peace 
love, grilled cheese, and talk with you later. You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.